Hello, guten Nacht or guten Morgen, depending on where you are. Um, hello, Gexo. Hope you're doing all right. I, I think yes, O oh, with the long pause and the dash also works for the opossum. Um, I know, I guess it's traditionally opossum, but I just like saying possum. Um, if, uh, if you follow me on social media, I recently fostered three baby possums in my backyard. So I'm obsessed with how cute and adorable they are. That's, that's why we have that in the stream title today. They're unbelievably cute, um, but they are also wild animals. So, uh, I hope no one thinks they're uh, acceptable pets because they're not. I fostered them from afar. They decided to take refuge in my backyard um, this week and I just got a chance to observe. They have since left the nest and I am extremely sad but I hope that means that they're doing okay. They found their mom or um, they decided to go venture out on their own as uh, juvenile and capable possums. Uh, but in the meantime, um, hi, hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, let's get to uh, some of our German studying today. And if you'll notice, there is a sticker party. Ooh, or, hold on, over there. I can't. I can't point. Other way, other way. There we go. Somewhere, somewhere down there, uh, there's a sticker party. Uh, mentioned so I've added stream stickers so um, if you want to slap some cute stickers on stream go ahead and do it I have them really low at 10 bits I just want to try it out and see uh, what it's like um, and we'll see if we get if we ever get to a thousand bits we'll do a 75 second uh, sticker party on here but in the meantime uh, let's do some German There we go. So, oh, it, it had me at 26 when I opened this earlier. It's at 25, so I'm not quite below the demotion zone, but I definitely don't want to fall below it. So let's do a quick and simple practice uh, just so I can get my sats in for the day. Although I did some um, with my 261 day streak so far. I did some after midnight, so I'm good, but let's get more added on there. Here is a sandwich. And if you are hungry, um, this is something you definitely want to hear. Here is a sandwich. Here is a sandwich. Here is the Rechnung. This is something you don't want to hear. Especially if it's at a super fancy restaurant. Uh, here is the check. Here is the Rechnung. Za. Za. Ooh, no. Za. Keep forgetting. The S sounds like a Z. Za. But the Z sounds like a TS. Here is an I. No, here is an egg. Hier ist ein Ei. Die Speisekarte, bitte. Even if you've been to a restaurant a million times, you still want to peruse the menu. Uh, the menu, please. This Speisekarte, bitte.
pizza is hot, the pizza is heiß, although cold pizza is still acceptable pizza. And I sometimes prefer it. Entschuldigung, wo ist die Speisekarte? And if your waiter or waitress um, has forgotten uh, something basic, you ask, excuse me, where is the menu? Entschuldigung, wo ist die Speisekarte? Yes, you have a very delicious eye. Yeah, das Ei ist lecker. Die Speisekarte ist hier. Lady, it's right in front of you. The menu is here. Die Speisekarte ist hier. Ah! Of course I type it in English, not German. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, unless you are in the planet of awful, awful pizza, usually the answer is yes. The pizza is delicious. Is the pizza delicious? Ist die pizza lecker? Hier ist ein Mineralwasser. Here is a mineral water. Here ist ein Mineralwasser. Lady, I keep telling you the menu is right here. Did I spell it right this time? Die Speisekarte ist hier. I know that gentleman's gonna pay. Here is the Rechnung. Okay, fine. I'll pay. The check, please. The Rechnung, bitte. Oh my god, why do you keep losing the menu? Here is the Speisekarte. Gosh, the service. I need to go. Excuse me, the check, please. Entschuldigung, die Rechnung, bitte. On second thought, let me peruse that menu one more time. Die Speisekarte, bitte. And I misplaced it again. Oh goodness, today is the day uh, to just talk about restaurants and food and menus and checks. Wo ist die Speisekarte? Oh, finally, I've ordered. Here comes my lunch. Here is a sandwich. The sausage is delicious. Thank you, because the sandwich was not enough. The vest is lecker. Danke. Die Speisekarte is here. Can she spell here correctly? The menu is here. The Speisekarte is here. Yes, she got it right this time. Yay! Okay, not bad for a simple level one practice. Let's move on to a level two practice.
Mein Vater liebt seine Mutter. Oh, that's nice to hear. My father loves his mother. Mein Vater liebt seine Mutter. Mia liebt ihre Schwester. Mia loves her sister. Mia liebt ihre Schwester. Families are getting along. That's good. That is such a personal question. Uh, shoot. Now I have to remember how to say rich. I think it's the same word. It's just, um, like, is that one? Is it rich? No, not Reich. Or maybe it's just uh, C H E. I can't remember spelling. Oh no, it was Reich. It was Reich. So, two meanings for uh, the word Reich. Usually we see it like in Frankreich uh, when they say France. So I take it um, also, you know. Obviously, when they mention Germany, it's the Third Reich. So it's the Third Reign. So Reich is reign. So Frank Reich is the reign of the French. Um, but who reigns? Royals and royals tend to be rich. So uh, Reich uh, can be associated with rich in that sense. So I will definitely try and remember that. I should have gone with my instinct. Die Wasserflasche kostet 10 Euro. I can't spell bottle. I can't spell in either German or English. That's an expensive bottle of water. Is this like super um, expensive mountain spring water flown in on a jet? A bottle of water costs 10 euros. The Wasserflasche kostet 10 euro. Or, yes, the less, uh, the less complicated literal tradition. Uh, the water bottle costs 10 euros. Der Bär trifft seine Frau und sie machen Yoga. That is one woke bear. The bear meets his wife and they do yoga. I mean, nothing like doing yoga and meditating with your earth sign life partner. I mean, that's just beautiful stuff. The bear trifft sein Frau und sie machen yoga. It's not Greek Opa exclamation. It's German. Uh... Oh wait, no, that's Grandpa. Sorry, Opa is Grandpa. So it's um... I think this one, father and grandfather is Großvater. <gasps> she got it right. Meine Oma spielt Gitarre und sie liebt ihre Band. And she needs to stop speaking in the third person. My grandma plays guitar and we're not writing in German here. There we go. And she loves her band. Meine Oma spielt Gitarre und sie liebt ihre Band. Uh, that's a really cool grandma. I can't remember pets. It's house something. 
Uh, my grandfather has no pets, is literally the tradition. Um, I'm gonna take a knee on this one, sorry. House Tira. And I put, I clearly, I can't see gender. I wrote grandfather instead of grandmother. Wrong on both ends. Wow. Wow, senores. I wonder how you say wow in German. I haven't learned that one yet. Er trifft seinen Großvater jede Woche. He meets his grandfather each week. Er trifft seinen Großvater jede Woche. Or each or every week. Jede. Wir möchten im Juni nach Japan reisen. I know they say they would like to travel to Japan, but I didn't hear the words in the beginning. Wir möchten im Juni nach Japan reisen. Oh. There you go. Okay. Uh, we would like to travel to Japan in June. So remember the the date of rule. So it's accusative all the way at the end. But in this case, uh, the accusative is taken by the second verb. So we would like to travel. Then right after the subject, we get temporal in June, in Muni. And then to Japan, nach Japan. We would like to travel to Japan in June. Ah, see? Wir möchten im Juni nach Japan reisen. Warum sind deine Geschwister so jung und reich? Hi Caleb, welcome to the channel. Hope uh, you're in for some uh, fun German learning, if that's your taste this evening. since I made the mistake of not spelling rich correctly last time. Oh, good. I've been learning it for a few months. I've always wanted to learn it, so I finally got down to it. Should have started in 2020. Oh, your next language. Which one are you doing um, at the moment? Or which one have you been doing? We have a very continental uh international crowd so we have many languages coming through italian love italian i took italian uh at university italiano le linguaggio di l'amore or at least that's what i would tell myself italian is the language of love uh let's see why are your siblings so young and rich that is such a personal question they ask so many personal questions uh, warum sind deine Geschwister so jung und reich? The water bottle is very big. The Wasserflasche ist sehr groß. You know. Sometimes you need a lot of water. Meine Oma arbeitet noch. Sie ist Beamtin. This is one of those words that once you learn it, you just have to know it because there's, it, it doesn't have a, a cognate in anything else that comes natural. 
Uh, my grandma still works. She is a civil servant. Meine Oma arbeitet noch. Sie ist Beamtin. There you go, grandma. Well, if you're a rich real estate mogul, that's why you're buying houses in New York. Or what did they have? Um, brownstones. Sto finendo l'albero, so quasi finito. Okay. Almost done. That's good. Mm. Okay. Shoot, what's uh, buying? Z Kaufen. In a house in New York. Z sent by. I think I got some things out of place, but here's hoping they are buying a house in New York. I want to say that maybe. Uh, maybe New York because it's the locus it's gonna be thrown in middle although sometimes these sentences tend to be like pretty straightforward like the way it's translated the way it's written um, as how they come out Let's see if this makes more sense Zeke Kaufman in New York Ein Haus I mean, we're, we're throwing the object to the end of the first sentence uh, and then the locus in New York in the middle. I don't know. I think I was right the first time, but let's try. Oh, and I got the uh, pronoun wrong. So I was right. It would have just been... Um, A house in New York. It would have been a literal translation on that one. And in, not in. Uh, German is SVO. Uh, clue me in on what SVO is. So very orderlich. Orderlich. Ordentlich. It has to be very organized. Ich will keine Kinder. Ich habe Haustiere. Uh, subject or object. Yeah, yes, the sentence structure. And uh, because I took inflected languages, I took Latin, I took Greek, I, I have now become accustomed to seeing it. And I speak uh, Spanish naturally, so some of like the adjective noun placements make more sense to me, at least in German, than they do in English. Yeah, so so is so is English, but it's lost quite a bit of its inflection. Uh, we still have some cases and you know some sentence structure, but at least now that they're throwing in, at least as far as the lessons I've gotten, they're throwing in the dative, and I have to add more balls to juggle to remember when I put it here, when I don't, you know. Okay, uh, I don't want any children I want to be child free uh, i have pets yes it's perfectly acceptable to have pets and those are your fur babies i applaud that i stand uh, fur babies instead of human babies i don't ah spell it i don't want children we'll do this one and then we'll run the battle I have pets. Ich will keine Kinder, ich habe Haustiere. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's the sound of our battle. So let's go and run our streamwriters battle. And we'll come back to finish this one next. End the music really quick. Okay. I do know about uh, German capitalization on proper nouns, but I wholeheartedly dislike capitalizing much of anything. I am a lowercase gal all the way. 
if I ever have to write it in a proper letter to a proper German, I will definitely do my capitalization. But I am taking a little bit of uh, freedom, at least in my uh, personal learning, to uh, go without the capitalization for now. Uh, okay, let's see how many people we got. Thank you everybody for uh, putting down your units. Um, I'm trying to get ranged units out, so I put down my uh, musketeer. Here we have another archer. Okay, we have a few. Oh, and musketeer. Okay. I will go with a high ground since we have enough musketeers. All right, let's run this and good luck. Oh, I think we're going to dispatch them easily enough. Should not be a problem. That's a cute little vampire. It's like a gargoyle. Stone gargoyle vampire. I like it. I may have gotten that skin. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the earth uh, vampire skin. Okay. Let me start the battle and then I'll see um, what else I got. Uh, where's music, music. Okay, what else did I need to do? I need, to, I didn't kill any ranged units. Well, my musketeer is gonna be down for an hour. Melee units, so let me put my archer down. My super cute uh, Kermond skin archer, which I adore, because he's one of the cutest devs on Stream Raiders. All right. Let's center everybody here. Oh, thank you for that epic monk. All right, let's go check out what we got. Give me some minis. And some scrolls. Let's see, archer scrolls, yes. I like to buff up my Carmond. Torch flag bearer. I still kind of like the uh, the other, the, the pink girl I had. Okay, but Templar, yes. Those are uncommon, so we like those. All right, let's upgrade my Cyberdoll Musketeer. It's pretty cute. I got 15 units to level 15. Yay. Oh, yeah, and I got some Templar scrolls so I can upgrade this guy too. Which means we're going to get balloon buster scrolls so I can now in turn go and upgrade our balloon buster. Fire balloon. It's just a fireball, not a wrecking ball. What a fire wrecking ball. I hit upgrade. Did I not? I think I did. Yeah, it's probably just delayed. There we go. Alright, let me leave the battlefield in place. And we shall go back to our very studious learning. Oh yes, we were we left off on the children free zone. Not everybody has to be a breeder. You can choose to have fur babies or no babies of any kind. And I think this was the first sentence we got. My 
father loves his mother. Mein Vater liebt seine Mutter. Mein Vater hat im Juni Geburtstag. This is one of those, this is how you say it, but the literal translation is my father has a birthday in June. But the common phrasing is uh, you have a birthday on that particular month. My father had in Juni Geburtstag. Okay, so it's raisin, so rice, rice stool. No, I think it's rice. This is a weird verb. Are you traveling uh, to Japan in June? Let's see if I got the placement right. See, even though it's usually like the ST for the U, the do, it always throws me. There are some verbs that don't conjugate the way it would for the first person, Wo wohnt dein Großvater? second person. Where does your grandfather live? Wo wohnt dein Großvater? Meine Schwester kocht gern. Sie mag ihre Küche. My sister loves to cook. Meine Schwester kocht gern. She likes her kitchen. Sie mag, sie mag ihre Küche. Oh, this is the previous one we had. The impertinent question. Are your parents rich? Why are you looking to marry up? Sind deine Eltern reich? Right, have a good sleep. Um, thank you for stopping by, Caleb. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. Bye. Tschüss. Or ciao. Oh, this is the other one I got wrong. Uh, because it's my grandmother, not my grandfather. And then doesn't have any pets. My Großmutter hat keine house to it. My grandmother has no pets, doesn't have pets. are buying a house in New York. Sie kaufen ein Haus in New York. Uh, they are rich. Sie sind reich. And sometimes we see the at home. It's zu Hause. And then they will do like the S, uh, the S-E at the end. Um, but I think this is one of those cases where you get like the dative cases because it's location at home, to home, for home, with home, whatever. So they're adding um, extra letters, extra vowels, extra endings to signify it's a dative case. So usually it's a house, they're buying a house. Um, so it's not feminine, but when it is at home, the location that you're directing in the sentence they will say house. Oh, that was painful, but we got through it. Thank you. All right. Lesson level two, practice done. 
Now we're going to get to the meat of the stream, which is the actual lesson. Uh, okay, so we did plans, so we are uh, moving up on break. Now let's do the tips for this, because the tips... Oh, tell us all about the dative, which I have come to... Uh, oh, so, so dislike on so many levels. In German, when you give something to someone, whoever you're giving that thing to, they get the dative case. Der Hund gibt einem Mann einen Apfel. The dog gives an apple to a man. So in this case, to the man, the dative case, uh, einem Mann, uh, it goes in the middle of the sentence, not at the end as we would say. Um, in English. And it also chases, changes from uh, einem with an N to einem with an M. Uh, same thing if you're showing something to someone. And the thing you're showing gets the accusative. It is the object of the sentence. You are showing object and the person that gets, you know, is shown it, they get the dative. Wir sagen einem Kind die Katze. We show the cat to a child. And child das Kind gets, uh, instead of ein, it becomes einem. In English, you'd often use an extra two, but in German, you don't need that. Just change endings. And then that takes the place of adding that helpful, helpful to. Der man, the man, uh, the dative form becomes them man. Uh, the woman, the Frau, becomes their Frau. And this will make sense when you see a feminine word like Frau, woman, getting a masculine ending, der. Uh, the child, which is neuter, das Kind, uh, gets them, Kind, instead of their Kind. And plural, the cats, the katzen, gets what normally would go to the masculine, then katzen. It's very confusing uh, and until you actually start putting it in practice and get used to seeing it, it'll make sense. One more thing, with plural nouns, you also need to add an N to the end. Take a look. Sie zeigt den Männern die Stadt. She shows the menses, the men, the city. So uh, we're going with dative then man, but because we're showing to multiple men, Mannern. So we're adding that N to match the N of the dative. Too many Ns. All right, let's do a lesson. Auf Wiedersehen. Ich mache Goodbye. eine Party für meine Mama. Sie ist so lieb. Uh, let's see. I am making, having, throwing a party for my mom. She is so... Uh, Beloved, nice, loved. So many, so many options. Ich mache eine Party. I am having a party for meine Mama, for my mom. Sie ist so lieb. She is so nice. Now usually we say net for nice, but this one, it's one of those, uh, that's why I said it's, it's um, loved, beloved. 
if you see it in other phrasing, they might have it later on in the rest of the sentence. That's when you tell, tell someone, um, be a deer, be a doll, be a lamb. Basically, it's like, be nice and do something for me, is what you're asking. Ich sehe mit meinem Opa eine Komödie. Ich sehe mit meinem Opa eine Komödie. Uh, I am watching a comedy with my grandpa. I am subject. Uh, I am watching a comedy object. And then uh, data in the middle with my grandpa. Mit meinem Opa. Dein Papa ist so lieb, er macht für uns ein Picknick. See, you're only nice when you do things for other people. Oops, I forgot the verb. He is blinking. There we go. Your dad is so nice. Dein Papa is so lieb. He is having a picnic for us. Er macht für uns ein Picknick. Ich will kein Popcorn. Ich habe Zahnschmerzen. Ich will kein Popcorn. Ich habe Zahnschmerzen. And this is a very good health and dental lesson. Uh, I don't want any popcorn. Ich will kein Popcorn. I have a toothache. Ich habe Zahnschmerzen. Backst du immer in den Ferien mit deiner Nichte? This has everything. This sentence is chock full of everything. Box to Emma. Do you always bake? Uh, in den Ferien, during the break, mit deiner Nichte, with your niece. But because it's one of those things where you're throwing the temporal, always Emma, and then you have. Uh, the locus, or actually the, the temporal is during the break. Uh, and then you have with your niece, the dative. But see, they, they kind of throw it. It's, it's hard to remember. Sometimes you can write it literally, which they did. They gave us the other option to always bake during the break with your niece. Um, but they will accept putting it in the proper structure or at least the traditional structure that they teach you. This is how the sentence structure should go. Ich lese am Wochenende mit meiner Mama die Zeitung. Ich lese am Wochenende mit meiner Mama die Zeitung. Okay, this definitely has everything. I am reading on the weekend with my mom the newspaper i am reading the newspaper with my mom on the weekend but we're gonna go with temporal dative accusative ich lese am wochenende mit meiner mama die zeitung mein Bruder hat. Hello, Granky. Hello, baby. How are you doing? Oh, 
No, you're the cute one. You're the cute one for being here. Look what you, what you did. Look at that. Look at that. You made it rain emotes everywhere. Thank you. Thank you for that five month subscription. I miss you, sir. I know you're busy with the move and everything, but I'm happy to see you here tonight. Hope you're getting enough rest in between all your working, all your heavy laboring, and then you come home and do more heavy lifting and heavy laboring. Eine Tochter. Sie ist meine Nichte. Uh, my brother has a daughter. My Bruder hat eine Tochter. She is my niece. Sie ist meine Nichte. Ich lese gern die Zeitung, aber nur in den Ferien. Ich lese gern den Zeitung. Aber nur in. Oops. Wrong thing. Die Zeitung. Aber nur in den Ferien. Okay. I like to read the newspaper. Ich lese gern die Zeitung. But never during the break. No, because it's like work. You don't want to read the newspaper on your break. You want to have like vacation reading, like pick up something at the airport. You know, one of those mystery, you know, murder romance novels that they sell at the newsstand. Oh, my mistake. They only read the newspaper, so apparently newspaper reading is only for the break. Uh, oh, congratulations! Yay, hype! You won your case against the county because they were being unbelievably unreasonable. Um, so I'm so happy you don't have to do any ridiculous extra work to get situated in your place. I'm sorry that you still have a ways to go, but at least that's one thing off your plate that you don't have to worry about. And even though the rest is, um, like I said before, it's like the heavy labor of actually doing the move and moving into your new place, uh, sometimes the mental uh, difficulties, like the court thing or the zoning and your driveway, uh, weighs more and exhausts you more than the actual physical labor of moving your family in. So I'm happy you won that battle against the county. So congratulations, that, that deserves a celebration. Bear is beer. Yeah. Comedy, we just learned today. Comedy. Comedia. Comedia. Uh, people is Leute. Leute. Where my Leute at? Now is jetzt. Jetzt. Only is nur. Nur. <gasps> oh, yay. I mean, that's one way to celebrate, sure. Um, but that tractor will do wonders to ease your other difficulties. So, sure. Sei lieb und mach Popcorn für uns, bitte. Sei lieb und mach Popcorn für uns, bitte. Uh, be a dear, be a doll, be a darling, and make popcorns for us, please. Sei lieb und mach Popcorn für uns, bitte. And um, this is the imperative order to make make something for us.
make it rain, make it rain on that down payment. Sometimes that uh, graces the wheel. Zai. Ni. Und. Mach. Popcorn. Für. Uns. Bitte. Uh, be nice and make popcorn for us, please. Sei lieb und mach popcorn für uns, bitte. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. That's, that's a wonderful way to be like, what? It's like, here, have some money. I've been working my ass off. No need to complain. Just pay them off. That that was a good flex. That's an amazing flex. And you just, all you had to do is just grab your phone and click. There you go. Back to watching TV. Möchtest du mit deinem Bruder eine Komödie Sehen. I'm, I'm very happy that you got to do that. Uh, would you like to watch a comedy with your brother? Möchtest du mit deinem Bruder eine Komödie sehen? Yep, there you go. Oh, this is that weird structured one if I can remember I think this was it I like to read the newspaper ich lese gern die Zeitung but only during break aber nur in den Ferien Yep, I remember. Speaking of, speaking of what? All right, we got our official lesson in. Um, uh, hopefully next week I'll get to the point where I can show you guys the new ones that I've been working on. Barbecue, I love food. Uh, community and plans, because we need to know how to do more things in German. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Frankie! Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Thank you so much. Look at that. Look at, look at all those videos I have never seen that icon ever oh my god thank you so much thank you thank you thank you um not necessary i thank you i appreciate you uh oh my god you just you made my night um but you know it's like most of that i'm actually gonna like throw it back at you because i need you once you get free I'm going to commission you to do so much hard work for me. <laughs> Be like, here, babe. Here, here you go. But, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and did you take, yes, you took your artist badge that I assigned you, right? So I can credit you with all the things. Oh, here, let me, let me do one of the emotes. I want to see if they show up with the badges like if you click on them yes and you accepted the attribution so now they show up with everything uh do you know how wonderful and amazing you are you just you made my night you make me so happy so many good things are happening for you and i'm so glad that you share them with me Oh, they send you an email. Yeah, yeah. I think they um, they mentioned it the other day, and I'm like, okay, well, let's let's see if I can get 
Frankie has attribution for whenever he uh, he checks in and he'll do it. So I'm glad you have that super awesome badge. Oh, perfect time. Let's go run a battle. Let's go kill some uh, bad monsters. Cause right now I'm like powered up. Like let's let's go uh, let's go lay down the law and like kick some butt right now. Okay, let's see how many people we have and what the better one would be. Uh, I have my archer, the other cyber doll. What is this thing? Another archer, okay. All right, so we will go with uh, high ground again for all our archer people. All right, here we go, good luck. Gotta love that Wilhelm scream. Oh my god, Bun Bun. That is a dangerous warrior right there. Look at all those kills you're getting. And Summon B with your assist. Thank you so much. Oh no, someone help the Athena Centurion. There we go. Kill those buggers. We done? They dead? Yes, they are dead. And I finally killed one, one single ranged unit. And Xenex, there you go, you get some monies. Let's see if my cyber doll is available now. Uh, so I can kill my other ranged units and my archer should also be available if she isn't. This one, loyalty skin chest, I may get a skin. I don't know if you guys do. I hope you do. So let's give it a whirl. No, my cyber doll is still on cooldown. So I will go back to uh, Cutie Patootie Kermond. And let's get everybody on here. There you go go fill it up put whatever you want down I don't mind I'm open about this we can stock strategy for dungeons maybe but uh eh, it's not necessary for the regular game yay 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 okay, back to duo Uh, I'm stalling because I've been dreading wanting to start on the hard practice. It's usually that's where I struggle all freaking night just to get through that one lesson. But uh, I'm a big girl. Let's do it. Wie viele Restaurants gibt es in dem Stadtviertel? Wie viele Restaurants? Gibt es in dem Stadtviertel. How many restaurants are there in the neighborhood? Wie viele Restaurants gibt es in dem Stadtviertel? I still can't pronounce restaurant in German. So how many restaurants? Uh, objects, restaurants are there in the neighborhood. Kann jemand mein Gepäck abholen? Can someone pick my luggage up? Sounds like I've been binging The Crown the last few weeks, so it just sounds something like the royal, like Princess Margaret would say. Is someone not picking up, you know, some random item because they can't be bothered? Uh, kann jemand mein Gepäck abholen? So jemand 
me or someone and gepack not to think it's backpack because that's different one that's rucksack uh gepack is luggage and then ab holen holen is to pick ab is up and it's one of those things that in english you split it pick up ab holen Der Bär ist nicht gefährlich. Er ist mein Freund. Okay, I'm not sure if I got the spelling on this one right. Uh, the bear is not dangerous. He is my friend. The bear is nick to play a lick. Mm, I'm gonna take off the T. I don't think that's a spelling for dangerous. Uh, he is my friend. Er ist mein Freund. Ah, see, no T. Gefährlich. Die Party beginnt in 22 Minuten. Can't you just say. Uh, hours instead of minutes. Um, I have to do math on this. Two and twenty. Twenty-two minutes. The party begins in twenty-two minutes. The party begins in uh, der Bär wohnt in der Nähe, aber er ist nicht gefährlich. Bär wohnt in der Nähe, aber er ist nicht gefährlich. The Bear lives nearby. The Bear wohnt in der Nähe. But he is not dangerous. Aber er ist nicht gefährlich. Es gibt zehn Restaurants in dem Stadtviertel. Wow, it's a lot of restaurants. There are 10 restaurants in the neighborhood. Es gibt 10 restaurants in dem Stadtviertel. So Stadtviertel for neighborhood is actually literally putting city, Stadt, and Viertel quarter. Like the French quarter in Louisiana. Uh, Stadtviertel. Neighborhood. Makes sense. Nein, mein Bär ist nicht gefährlich. Uh, no, my bear is not dangerous. Nein, my bear is nicht gefährlich. Because my bear is a yogi bear and he's only dangerous to picnic baskets. Es gibt viele Restaurants in der Nähe. Hast du Hunger? There are many restaurants nearby. Es gibt viele Restaurants in der Nähe. Are you hungry? Hast du Hunger? Or literally, do you have hunger? Warum bringst du 22 Tomaten zur Party mit? Uh, why are you bringing 22 tomatoes to the party? That is a very peculiar question. Uh, because he 
wants to make a salsa for the chips? I don't know. Warum bringst du 22 Tomaten so Party mit? Ah, forgot the N for brings. It's like tiny, tiny typo. I'm not good at uh, spelling sometimes, especially keyword spelling. Es gibt neun Restaurants in dem Stadtviertel. There are nine restaurants in the neighborhood. Es gibt neun restaurants in dem Stadtviertel. Ich warte nicht mehr. Wir müssen gehen. I am not waiting anymore. Ich warte nicht mehr. We have to go. Wir müssen gehen. Ah! I didn't spell mayor correctly. And as I was saying about spelling, bleh. Die Kinder mögen die Parks in dem Stadtviertel. The children like the parks in the neighborhood. The Kinder mögen die Parks in dem Stadtviertel. Ist dein Bär gefährlich? What is up with the bear? Or why is it possessively your bear? Do we all keep uh, pet bears or something? I mean, apparently I kept uh, pet possums this weekend. This week, but no. Is your bear dangerous? Ist dein Bär gefährlich? Es gibt drei Parks in dem Stadtviertel. There are three parks in the neighborhood. Es gibt drei Parks in dem Stadtviertel. Es gibt acht Restaurants in dem Stadtviertel. This sounds like you're asking Siri for directions for nearby uh, places of interest, and she's telling you there's three parks in the neighborhood. There are eight restaurants in the neighborhood. Es gibt acht Restaurants in dem Stadtviertel. Would you like directions to one of them? I am not waiting anymore. We have to go. And I just wrote this one, so I better remember the correct spelling for anymore. Ich warte nicht mehr. M E H R. Wir müssen gehen. You have to go. Uh. Do you, do you mean the, the possum story or the German story I'm about to read? <laughs> ich warte nicht mehr. Wir müssen gehen. Again. Ich warte nicht mehr. Wir müssen gehen. Okay. There you go. That's the last one. I'll, I'll give you the spiel for, uh, for my story this week. And I'll give you the actual story for German. So that is why I have a possum or opossum title. Uh, my mom, what day was it? I want to say it was Thursday. Uh, went out to, yes, because it was trash day. She went out to go and bring the trash cans into the house. So she went into the backyard to go and open the door to the street and all I heard from the living room was her screaming and then yelling shoo 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 so I just thought oh it's the neighbor's cat that's in the yard again and um, 
but she wasn't like it wasn't her usual annoyance with the cat it was more something else so i i went out and asked her through the window I was like why are you shooting the cat she's like it's not a cat there's two possums next to the door so they were on either corner of the door to the street so she couldn't get near them because you know they start hissing and burying their teeth but they were they were babies they were baby possums so i told her mom it's like at nine o'clock in the morning just leave them there the garbage cans can wait out in the street it's not necessary for you to disturb them in fact their mom is probably somewhere around and you're there so she can't go get them and in fact i was getting worried because they shouldn't be out in the daytime so maybe she was in the process of like moving them you know how possums and raccoons will like get their babies or like grab them by the ruff of the neck and like carry them or maybe she had these two babies left so i'm like just leave them there leave them there um and uh she she didn't want to but fine so I, I was working and eventually i went out i took some videos took a picture because we're that kind of people we have to document it on the phone um and they were freaking cute they're so cute and adorable because baby possums are cute and adorable uh and i went to i i told my mom you know it's so like just get the cans uh, and bring them in from the other side she went to do that they had moved there's like a little hole in the bottom slat of the door uh, so I think one of them was on our side of the yard and the other one went to the street side of the door so she couldn't get the, the garbage cans near so I'm like, okay fine just leave it and as the evening goes on as the day goes on she keeps going to look I'm like they're still there they're still there towards later in the afternoon I go look there are now three possums so I have become foster mother to three baby possums in my backyard because we are now running a possum nursery uh, one told their friend and they told their friends now everybody knows and they want to come to the Alexis house you know for daycare because we offer such great service so I, I put that on a on Insta and social media and they're really cute. In fact, I'll I'll show you the picture. Let me see if I can get it from uh, from I posted one in Discord. Hold on. And they're just really cute because we have um uh we have like a uh, you know like wooden doors or it's like a slat right above like the the ground so it was a perfect shelf for them to lay on so they were just there chilling you know as possums do because why the heck not uh, okay how can I capture hold on hold on ah here we go So that is the possum story for the day. So I was super obsessed with my baby possums this week because they're just so freaking cute. Um, but of course, you know, they are wild creatures, so you should always leave them be. You should not get close to them. Do not try to feed them, especially uh these possums because they're already enough around humans that you don't want to uh, get them used to getting their food you want them to forage and hunt for themselves not in your garbage cans which is the usual place most of um the critters the raccoons and the possums will get their food okay let me add a picture Picture, picture. 
So I just left them. I kept going to check on them throughout the day. Um, and then sure enough, we just left. We left them alone overnight. I'm hoping their mom uh, finally came to get them and uh, they were not there the following morning. Okay, so these, these are the babies. These are the possum babies in my house. Or at least in my backyard. Aren't they freaking adorable? I mean, of course, if you get near them, they go shh. But uh, at least for my taste, they are just super, super, super cute. So that was the possum adventure of this week. Yeah, they're just too freaking cute. I mean, I'm sure you see them uh, where you live probably. So they're they're less cute and more like annoying critters. But you know, I'm a I'm a city girl even here in the suburbs. Uh, even even if you see a, a raccoon or a skunk, even it's like you know we're we're in their territory. I feel bad. I, I want them to survive and thrive and especially when they're these cute. How, how can you not? Just how can you not? Okay. That's the uh, feel good moment for the day. Now we can uh, do something less cute <laughs> with just Sharma. Tons of skunks and armadillos, which I am sure, unfortunately, get run over. Um, I will admit that my mom has a different opinion because, you know, we have skunks in the backyard that travel through and uh, one unfortunately surprised her as she was opening the door to the backyard and it, it was literally turning tail as she slammed the door and I'm sure it sprayed the door and she was not happy with that but I know that if you get uh, skunks from like breeders <laughs> yes yes they smell pretty good if you get skunks from the breeders they just um, they take out the gland they degland the babies um, so they're like cats the speaking of cats spirits oh my goodness hello good morning spirit um, and you can actually have them as pets and uh, they're freaking adorable. Big bushy tails and you don't have to worry about getting skunk sprayed. Um, so I always thought about getting a, a skunk as a pet, but uh, it would not fly in this household. Yeah, most everybody else has a... Uh, an unfortunate skunk event, right? <laughs> Things are good over here. Uh, I was just regaling people with my skunk adventures. Not my skunk adventures, my possum adventures. You saw my baby skunks, right? From, uh, from this week. Here, I'll show them again. These are my three foster babies that have uh, left the nest and now I have an empty nest syndrome because I have no cute fur babies in my house anymore. Yes, I went back in the afternoon and uh, another one wanted to be part of the Alexis uh, Possum Nursery. Wow, a snake skin. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. I, I would bolt after it's seeing that because that means probably Python. I, I know they're uh, very prominent in Florida, unfortunately, because people let them out and now they're overrunning the Everglades. I don't know about the uh, Texas snake population. Yes, they're gone. My babies are gone. 
uh, but they brought me joy for, you know, their brief time in this house. Uh, okay, let's do a story. Oh, a pit viper. Yeah, no. Get the hell out of there. That's, that's, uh, professional exterminator time to come and get rid of that thing. Uh, okay, so let's do the love letter because I got so much love from you today. Um, but just a quick side note. I've been cheating and doing these, uh, story lessons repeatedly when I need to boost my points because if you do the audible it's 20 experience points. Apparently Duolingo got wise. I don't know if it's because of me because I was spamming the story so much or because they just finally cut on that other people are doing it. So now when you click to do the read version you get zero extra points if you've already done it. And if you do the conversation or audio uh, mode, you only get two extra points. So last Sunday I was like doing these over and over. I'm like, why aren't, why aren't my points going up? And then I realized, I thought it was like two extra points. No, it's like just two points total. So at some point doing these stories, if they're old, is not gonna bring me anything. Oh gosh, no, that's that's scary to think that it's out there, especially with the kiddo possibly running around. And the dog, if you still have the dog. Alright, since I have lovely people uh, in my stream today, I will do a love letter to all of you today. Der Liebesbrief. The love letter. Der Liebesbrief. Sari ist mit dem Nachbarsjungen Junior in der Bibliothek, denn Juniors Vater arbeitet. Sari is with the neighbor's kid Junior in the library. Sari is mit dem Nachbarsjungen Junior in der Bibliothek because Junior's dad works or Junior's father works. Then Junior's father arbeitet. <laughs> the kids on a leash. Oh my god. Oh, I love that. Was schreibst du da, Junior? Uh, what are you writing there, Junior? Was schreibst du da, Junior? Einen Brief. A letter. Einen Brief. Oh, wem schreibst du? Oh, whom are you writing? Wem schreibst du? Einem Mädchen. Ich glaube, ich liebe sie. A girl? Einem Mädchen. I think... I think I love her. Ich glaube, ich liebe sie. Ein Liebesbrief? Wer ist dein Schatz? Isn't that... Uh... Not the Beatles, not the Monkeys, the Partridge Family? Right? David Cassidy, I think I love you. What am I so afraid of? At least that's, that's what I hear in my head when I read that sentence. A love letter? Ein Liebesbrief? Who is this sweetheart? Or, uh, yeah, who is this sweetheart? That is dein Schatz? Ein Mädchen in deiner Klasse? A girl in your class, ein Mädchen in deine Klasse. Nein, sie ist älter als ich. No, she is older than I am. Nein, sie ist älter als ich. Älter? So alt wie ich vielleicht? Uh, older? Älter? Uh, so, uh, as old as I am, perhaps? So alt wie ich vielleicht? Ja, sie ist meine Nachbarin. Yes, she is my neighbor. Ja, sie ist meine Nachbarin. Moment, sie ist so alt wie ich und deine Nachbarin? Wait, Moment. She is as old as I am. Sie ist so alt wie ich. 
and your neighbor und deine Nachbarin? Ja. Ja. Sie ist wahrscheinlich sehr intelligent, richtig? She is probably very intelligent, correct? Sie ist, sie ist wahrscheinlich sehr intelligent, richtig? Sehr intelligent. Very intelligent. Sehr intelligent. Oh, Junior, du liebst mich? Oh, Junior, you love me? Du liebst mich? Es tut mir leid, aber du bist ein bisschen zu jung für mich. Oh my god, she is so conceited. I'm sorry, es tut mir leid. But you're a little bit too young for me. Aber du bist ein bisschen zu jung für mich. Was? Nein! What? No. Was? Nein. Ich liebe nicht dich. Ich liebe deine beste Freundin Lily. I don't love you. Ich liebe nicht dich. I love your best friend Sari. Or Lily. Ich liebe deine beste Freundin Lily. Kannst du ihr meinen Brief geben? Can you give her my letter? Kannst du ihr meinen Brief geben? So that's what you get for assuming a little kid's in love with you. Because they're not. Okay, so sweetheart. I love this word. Schatz. Sounds like cat. Uh, love letter. Liebesbrief. Very is ze. Neighbor in the feminine wiles. Neighbor, Nachbarin. Correct. Richtig. Okay, let's see how far that got us. Okay, lucky number 13, I can do with that. So thank you, that brings us to the end of our German Duolingo portion of today's stream. And with that sound, it's time to run our battle. go uh, let's see uh, more archers we got some tanks over here cute little warriors a oh, penguin paladin I love that skin um, another archer paladin berserker the healer it's like a hula healer it's so adorbs and um, orc slayer Okay, I think, I think I may need to do a, but we're kind of um, spread out, like there's not a lot of focused uh, like focused um, enemies. So I think I'll do the uh, killing fields for the warriors. But I think everybody's going to be going different ways, so we shall see. All right, good luck. Oh, I think we're doing pretty well. They're almost all done. Yay, we won! Yay us, thank you very much. And congratulations, Joseph. You get some monies. Ooh, 200 monies. That's a good score. Okay. Uh, let's check again. I don't think I completed my quests, but I think my uh, my cyber doll should be active now, so I can put her down to get those uh, the final ranged kill I need. Yep, my 
is time for dolls available. Oh, I, I better get a lot of kills this time around. Because almost everybody around is probably like a ranged unit. Like, I better. I mean, not that I don't want you guys to get your kills, because I do. Um, but just one, just one. All you need is one ranged unit. And after that, it'll just be straight up my Kermond archers so I can kill some melee units. Uh, I don't have any army to level up. I think I wanted to check if I got the Earth Vampire, which I think I did. No. I get the Goth Vampire. I may have gotten the Earth Vampire on my player skin, but not on my uh, on my captain skin. It's just fine. All right, let's leave this on the battle for the moment, and we shall switch our category to Minecraft. So I am not on Wi-Fi, I am on Ethernet right now, so I'm hoping that will help and I'm crossing my fingers that I can boot up Minecraft and not have everything go wonky like it did before. Oh, and <laughs> Drunkle. Since you are now the uh, 5k person, I don't know, do I, I think I have a badge, like, don't I have like a 5k donation badge, like next on the list, right? Let me check my my emotes and badges. Yeah, so there's a 5k bits uh, emote that I need to design. I guess I have to do it because otherwise it would be rude to ask you to design your own prize. I mean, you'd do a much better job than I would, uh, but I guess it's only fair that I design it right. All right, stream has been changed to Minecraft. Yes, no, but I changed it. Oh, there we go. I didn't hit done. Okay, and it is not educational. Okay, now it says Minecraft. All right, let's boot it up and cross our fingers that it actually works. No, this is not the moment to update the Minecraft launcher.
And there's like an Angry Birds thing, but I think I'd have to purchase the new um, Angry Worlds world and... Nah. And if there's free stuff, sure, that I can equip. But for the most part, the things that I've tried to equip from the um, marketplace don't really work in the usual world I play in. Or like, I'll lose the skin I have uh, organized for my normal play. Alright, trying to boot up the server. I opened it today, so it should work. Things on stream mirrors are still working, so that's good. Okay. Let's turn over to the game capture. And that should load now. Yes, say please, yes. Yes, there we go. Ah, oh, here's hoping we stay in the green and don't have um, too many drop frames. Yay! It's working. So you guys let me know if it starts getting all slow and glitchy. Things seem to be okay. Or if the... Um, the music, the background music, and the Minecraft music don't jive. Oh, and Grunky, if you're still there, um, I heard the uh, the announcement that this summer, if you have one of the others, like you're gonna get, like I have the. Uh, uh, the bedrock so I should be able to get um, what do you call it uh, Java automatically like I won't need it on game pass necessarily so if you have it and you have your Xbox account uh, you should be able to get bedrock and then we can finally play I'm not 100% on the whole cross-platform thing, but I think it should be okay. Let me move the sticker party thing to a different place, a different window. Maybe we'll just move it to the top. Right. Yeah, I'll move it to the top right now. Yeah, I know you have Java because you were playing with the kiddo. Um, so uh, if you just check, I don't know, let's say July, they might do it. They keep announcing that they're going to do it. Um, they will add Bedrock to your account. The sticker party over here. That better place. Oh, uh, wait, no, let me move it over slightly. Like over here. Does that look better? I might just close this. Probably don't need it. Uh, no, okay, I'll leave it there. Oh, and you know what? I'm just gonna do the stickers for free. I just wanna see them on screen.
Okay, so my mission today, if I choose to accept it, uh, I want to make more turtles. We had some eggs that we found while exploring and uh, there is a no, oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. We have three whole sea turtle eggs left. We had eight eggs. Um, and my friend Salur found a scoot. And apparently, you can make a underwater breathing helmet out of it. Are you, did you just play a sticker? Someone put a sticker down. Thank you for the sticker. I didn't even see it. <laughs> I didn't even see who put the sticker down. Thank you. Um, so I, um, I want to make a turtle because I want to get more of these scoots. Thank you. Thank you. That was you, wasn't it? It was, should have said someone put it down, but I didn't. I missed it. Um, so I'm going to go put an egg down. And do I have my silk touch? Yes, I have my silk touch. Okay. And I need to fix the, um, the beehives. I made for my friend Jiggle because I didn't put them up high enough so they are kind I, I put the um, the fire pits at the bottom and one of them just kind of is sticking out of his uh... wait I didn't want three eggs I'll come I'll come back and put the other two away. I just wanted one egg today. Uh, and they're kind of seeking out of his ceiling. So he's got like ashes falling out. And I don't want that to happen. Oh, it's raining. I don't think it's nighttime, but it's gonna be scary at night. And monsters come out when it's scary. But let's be brave and go and let's go make us some turtle babies. Why am I falling? I fell down. Alexis fell down the hole. Okay. So let me put one simple turtle egg by itself. One. There we go. One turtle egg. I'm going to go put the other ones away. And uh, Salur and I, mostly Salur because he's like the uh, thoughtful designer of our intrepid Minecraft duo. Um, we made this beach and he said that sometimes the monsters come and eat the turtle eggs. So we made the fence around the beach so that our babies are safe. All about turtle babies right now. And our turtles kind of like just swim away. We've made three turtles, I think. Um, so I, I don't want them to swim away this time. And I want to be able to get their scoot because apparently they dropped that. Uh, every time they grow out of their shell. So I am preserving these turtle eggs. Because according to him, um, they every time they grow out of a shell, they drop it. And when we found the turtles, um, he said that we needed to bring the eggs over because the turtles will come back and mate on the beach where they were born, which is 
kind of what happens in real life, right? I'm going to move really slow because I see things kind of dragging. Let's go check out progress. Our egg. Hello, Eggy. How are you doing? We have a pig on a boat. He likes to be on the boat. I don't know why. And I need to not jump near the egg because I might jump on it and break it. And I don't want to do that. All right. Looks okay. I don't know if there's a crack on it or not. Um, if it starts to crack, it means the baby is going to hatch. And I think Solar said it's like eight eight day cycles for them to be born. So in the meantime, I will go to Chico's house and, oh, hello, sir. What do you have for trading? Uh, no, I don't want to run into the rose bushes. Ah. Birch saplings, seeds, brain coral block, yellow dye. I think I have yellow dye. Oh, God. Packed ice. Are you trying to sell ice to an Eskimo, sir? Mm, no, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I will decline your offer, sir. Ugh, it's like super laggy. I'm trying not to move too fast. Bring it down to 160p on my other end, but still pretty slow. No one wants to watch this at 160p. You want to see the full definition of the blocks, right? Okay. Hello bees. Uh, there are bees because I left cake here uh, on the birthday stream. I don't know, can I make a difference on, on the stream stuff? I don't think, oh. Yes, that's right. I need to make the stream interesting visible unless I hear it necessarily.
I shouldn't be standing here too long because uh, it might get dark and the monsters come out and I'm gonna die. That would not be good. Nicht gut. Alright. So I'm going to try to do this with one and I hope to God I don't kill the bees again. It's smoking so I should be able to harvest the honey and then oh, let me put the silk touch on there. I should be able to harvest the honey. Where's my thing? Tab tab. There we go. No, no, no. Why can't I tab and get my thing done? Why is the door to hell open? They don't want things coming out of there. Folks, there you go. Before I try to figure out why this is not working, let me just go indoors. In case the monsters come out. Okay. Here we go. It is E for my inventory. Okay, slip touch down. Okay, I'm crossing fingers. So many fingers. Harvest the honey. Okay. Okay, now. I hope I don't kill the bees. All right, let's do this. <gasps> no, no angry bees, nothing dead. Okay, that worked. All right, let's do this again. Let's harvest the honey. No, oh, did the honey go in the other place? There we go, there's the honey. Hello, faithful dog. I don't know if you're mine or not. And now let's still touch beehive. Yes? Are you in my... Yes, I have two beehives now. Alright, let's do this one more time. Harvest the honey. And of course it falls on the other side, right? Or did it fall in the fire? No, I still haven't harvested. Okay. There we go. Harvest and silk touch. And are you there? Yes, okay. We're good. Now we can harvest the fire. I don't need fish, thank you. I keep wanting to tab, but I don't need to tab, do I? Ah! Freaking, did a monster put me on fire? Ah, stupid zombie. This is what you get. You push me in the fire, now you die too. I'm gonna kill you. And because you're stupid zombies, you can't get through the bamboo. This is what I was afraid of. Stupid zombies killed me. Okay, 
I don't want the thing. I don't want all. There you go. I don't want the uh, rotten zombie meat. Thank you very much. Why didn't you bark? Aren't you supposed to like bark and defend me from the zombies? Don't you hide. You know I'm talking to you. Okay. So I just need to raise them one level specifically. Because otherwise, see, I'm it's it's all in Jigo's uh, ceiling, and I feel really bad. And I don't, <laughs> I don't want zombies to get in Jigo's ceiling. I should probably put them, put them back. But let me, um, silk touch these, and I'll place them back after they've been gotten. just takes forever. Like, I'm not harvesting them, but I am. Okay. Uh, let's put the... Blocks back. Dirt. I'll fix your ceiling, Jigo. I will. Don't be angry with me. Ceiling closed. And there we go. Let me go into your house and get the get the things I'm just leaving cake everywhere apparently ah! oh skelly why don't don't <sighs> oh yeah shoot each other please and ignore me and shoot each other Okay, they're, they're stupid, but they caught me by surprise and unawares. Door's closed, right? I should leave before one of them uh, remembers that I'm here and they start shooting me. Alright, and that is our stream bow. I don't know why I didn't hear it. I uh, think I broke something. Oh. Oh, see, Jigo's smarter than I am. He made reinforcements on the ceiling to kind of like block the fact that uh, I had dug a hole on his ceiling. Um, so he, he laid those on there, but you know what, Jigo, there you go. I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna fix it. I am. There you go. See, it's, it's like nothing, nothing happened here. Sorry. Okay. Let's go to our battle and run it. Look quickly. Oh, that took a little bit to stop. All right, how are we doing on the frames? Let me check. Let 
about 8% of drop frames, not great, um, but it could be better. At least I'm still seeing uh, green across the board as far as streaming, so it's just a little slow and laggy, but uh, we're doing okay. All right, let's go to the battle. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, it's 35 allies. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Orkslayer Dragon Co. for taking those hits. And because there are a lot of ranged units that we want to kill, uh, let's put some high ground over here. All right, here we go. Good luck. Why won't you start? Yes, the battle is ready. Okay, now we go. I know there's still more of them than there are of us, but I have faith in us. It's just taken a while. Okay, the numbers are now on our side. I think we have them on the run. Oh, they are pesky. They're not giving up. Four more enemies. Who's left? The stage, right? And this guy. An orc. Where's my orc slayer? Did we lose our orc slayer? Oh, sorry. Dragon Co. But uh, you got quite a few kills. Look at that. You're at the top of the battle. Okay. Let's open up the chest. And we're lagging slightly. Sorry, guys. battle server and the music is still going. I have no idea what's going on. There we go. All right. And congratulations, Jorge and Renee Pirate. You guys get some monk scrolls. Yeah, I think it's the Minecraft that's slowing things down. I may switch this to the um uh to the other one. To the web version. Cuz last time I think that's what I did. Uh there are only so many things I can have open and operating. Let's go back to the map and let's
let's pick another one to go. Oh yeah, super, super laggy. Yikes. Alright, let's pick a map. Who are these dudes? Oh my goodness, that's like a super hard boss fight coming up. Uh, do we want to go with the silver chest, moderate level, or the unknown question mark dot dot dot? Hmm. Let's take a risk tonight. We never know. Luck may be on our side. Sorry, I'm opening it on browser as well. So I think that's probably what's slowing things down. down for the next hour so we will use Mr. Carmond over here. Oh but Ganehe or Gane, uh you've put something over here so let's join you over yonder. See if the one on the web has opened up yet. No, that one is still loading. All right, let's switch over to. Uh, I hope I'm not outside uh, and I'm not dying somewhere on. No, I'm inside Chico's house, so we're good. <laughs> I'm not going to die yet.
Train Raiders does not want to respond. I'm trying to close you. Please work. All right. All right, so I've sealed up his ceiling. Oh, and in case you hadn't seen this from the birthday stream, uh, I came over and made a nice little romantic hot tub for Jigo with some mood lighting. Cozy, right? And some moly pads and a big old fishy over here. Now, in case he wants to get his petty spa on, I've never done that. I don't uh, think it would be terribly, terribly um, fun having your feet nibbled on by fishies, but you know, some people like it. Speaking of fishy, is this like inappropriate? I'm looking at the fish and I have a fish in my hand and uh, I'm gonna eat my fish. Nom nom. I need to get my hearts back up before I go go out and fix the uh, apiary. Ah, oh, fishy. Oh, that's right. And this one has a um. It's it's not smack in the middle, but. Uh, there's something about it being like able to see the sky so there's like a, an opening to um, the ceiling level upstairs hello gravini hello my friend We're, we're looking at a, a delectable skylight uh, in the very fancy cement pond hot tub bathroom that we made in my friend's house. I, I put the mood lighting candles on here so you can take a relaxing and cozy bath should he choose. All right. Let's go upstairs. My hearts are back. Ah. Go upstairs. There you go. It's still nighttime. I'm afraid of the evil monsters lurking. I was trying to outrun, um, skeletons that were shooting at me and then they started shooting each other so they forgot about me i don't see them but they could still be out there and i'm not gonna help anybody with a fish so let me put this fish away i don't need the fish i do need dirt however I don't need those or the honey. Okay. Then I'll put the fireplace on later. I hate being out at night. I'm just paranoid. Okay, <laughs> I'm not afraid of spiders. I'm really not, but I'm I'm alone in the dark at night. You can draw your own conclusions. So I'm like I'm looking around. The dog is not helping. He's just looking at me like, "What do you expect me to do?" Like I expect you to fight some zombies, or um evil crazy spiders okay so I'm trying to fix the apiary I set up because I set it too low so I need to raise it slightly so I am simply gonna put another level of dirt over here I don't have any more 
um, planks. I don't want to do more planks. It's fine. Uh, so I am simply gonna demolish and take it up just one level. It might make it easy to harvest uh, harvest those um, the honeycombs eventually. So we shall see. I'm like paranoid. I'm like I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to do this, but I have to. Okay. I have to remember exactly how I did it though. Like eh, no, go away. Okay, so I have the poles. I have the ceiling slats, and they're all kind of together, flat, 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 except for the space in between. And I think I did a second level on the top, so it looks kind of like housey level. I don't know. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take you off. And put dirt there. Yeah, real, real classy. Not the best fix, but I'm trying. I don't need to do too much. I just need to raise these guys up. an enderman. I shouldn't be afraid. It's just like right in my eye line. And I have I have diamond pickaxe. I could kill it if I wanted to. I could. I just don't want to right now. I'm good, thanks. Okay. So you come here. Not other monster trying to kill me, right? Okay. And you tell me, dude, right? You tell me? No, you wouldn't. You never tell me anything. Um, I need to get on the ground. Get off the ground. And put up the slot. fence post. I have to like put it right there. And then I can start putting the other things level. Around, maybe. So that's it. Now I can raise everything up by one. Right? I 
I know you you guys are coming back and you're like, where's my beehive? I need a beehive. I'm gonna put your beehives up, I swear. I swear it. I just have to figure out how to do it. Oh, was that it? I make the mistake of hitting the tree thing I did. Okay, so this tree branch, at least, is going to have to go. Oh, look, it's daytime. At least the skeletons are not going to try and kill me right now. Okay, uh, wooden slats. This is going to be the right level. Do it. Yeah, I think it did it on the other side. Okay, I just need to. Start over on this side. One, two, three. I know, I know. slots over here. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing more slots. what I was missing. They need to be like on the edge. Okay. There's two edges that I'm missing. I'm gonna give it like the overhang look. Right. something no that seems right or unless I left something downstairs or I didn't pick it up and harvest it you just make another one like oh if if I chop it and it doesn't come down I think it like vanishes after five minutes or so Hello, monster. Welcome to the channel. I'm trying to fix an apiary at the moment. I did a bad job of setting it the first time. So I'm raising it one block level. Because these bees need a place to live. Okay. Put the beehives down now. Hopefully they will forgive the inconvenience. Oh my god, you guys just popped out of the beehive as soon as I placed it. There you go. 
Were you in the beehive when I took it? Alright, last beehive. Bee power activate. Boop, boop. Yes, they were definitely in there. Okay. And now I can set the fire back. One and two. There you go. Then let's close this up so no one accidentally falls in there. All right, we'll see how much easier it is to harvest these ones afterwards. Okay, and I need to make another slat. Where were they? Wood slats, I think. Oak slats. To kind of finish out the pattern on that. I still think it probably fell at the bottom of the ceiling. I'm going to go back in Gigo's house and check. Uh, excuse me, Miss B. I know you're busy pollinating and doing what the birds and the bees do. I probably should not leave that cake there because monsters can get in the yard. Oop, falling and falling. I'm just going to double check that it didn't fall through the ceiling. Or if it did, uh, I probably just vanished right now. Okay. Sorry, let me pause this really quickly. I'll leave you looking at the fire in the meantime. I want to see if the stream raider is finally closed because it was giving me trouble. So I was trying to switch over and it was lagging everything behind, unfortunately. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to run it just going forward for the rest of the stream uh, from the web version instead of the app simply because uh, drop frames, which are a pain in the butt. Oh, we still have time. Seven minutes. Okay. But we were going to briefly check uh, things we can collect. We got the minis. Uh, let's see what scrolls we got. Centurion scrolls. Nice. For my Athena Centurion. Speaking of Athena, I don't see her streaming quite yet, but maybe she'll stream later and then we can raid her again. She's like my Saturday night early Sunday morning uh, raid target at this point. Oh yeah, we finished quests. It's all lagging, sorry. Okay, so I got my eight kills score. Still need that last uh, ranged unit kill, but my cyber doll is on pause for the hour. So we're going to use Mr. Kermond. I got my three melee unit kills. Wonderful. The 
Let's see what scrolls I got. Musketeer scrolls, appropriate. All right, then let's see what I can level up in the meantime. My Athena Centurion. Yes, I want to level you up. Alright, and now I can go back to leaving the battle on view. Oh, 16 troops and we got five minutes okay it's so slowly laggy sorry actually going better than on the birthday stream when everything just wanted to uh, stop and crash which it did about four different times Whatever OEC's mysteries there are, because we're doing the Curse of the Tomb Lands, so everything is Egyptian themed. Although we've kind of had the Egyptian theme before on different battles, just not like the overall campaign. Okay, let's switch back. To our Minecraft. All right, so I need to make, um, what should I say, a wood wood slat, right? And then um, we can finish off closing the roof. Like, I do not want to go and harvest, so I am going to sneak a peek in Jigo's chests. Here we go. Oakwood planks, slabs, that's what I need. I think it's the right color, so let's go find out if it matches. And if you missed it earlier, because I made a hole in his ceiling, he decided to reinforce the ceiling with these stone slabs. To kind of hide my mistake in a ceiling and I feel really really bad so that is why I had to fix his beehives because I put them too low oh now it's nighttime again all right let's see if I don't get killed because zombies and things like to hunt and kill me And the cake needs to go 
I guess the monsters can get in there. Okay, leave me alone, Mr. Spider. Oh, there's a nightmare flying up there. Um, so I think I need to kill it because it's going to try and come after me. Like, I see you, dude. There you are. Can you come for me? I know you want to come and get me. Oh my god. Can I kill it? Can I kill it? Nah, stay still. Uh, no, I didn't hit it. I know, I'm so sorry. It's just super laggy, Odin. It's better than on the birthday stream, at least. Okay. The nightmare is hiding. It wants to come for me. Oh, it's there. Can I just kill you there? There's multiple nightmares after me. Oh crap, I need to sleep. Yeah, this is it just too far away? Oh, I think I have fire on that one. I might not be able to do it. I know I hit one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the correction. Okay, I am going to go sleep because these suckers are just coming after me. So I, I need to go get my ass in bed right now. <laughs> uh, and they're just too far away. Three guesses which bed is mine. Too far away. Sleepy. Okay. I know, I know. It's it's supposed to be pixelated, but it's more pixelated than usual because of my crappy internet and because of everything else that I don't know how to do properly. Although you'll be proud, I put the ethernet connection to the router this time. So I'm not streaming on Wi-Fi. I've I've upgraded. And hello, Odin. Morning. Alright. And it was small, small uh uh advances not a lot to speak of i guess i also bought the um power over ethernet adapter that salor told me to buy in case i wanted to connect from my kitchen because it's too far from my router but i just ended up buying a 50 foot cable of uh, ethernet cable and i'm running it from the router way back in my living room um so I don't know if I'll even need to use it, but I'll have it there just in case. Uh, I did not give you an, oh, okay. Um, you have an artist badge because we talked about this and your wonderful con uh, contribution to the world of video games makes you an official artist, Odin. That is why you have an artist badge. And Ravini, in case you're wondering what we're talking about. Oh, shoot, I disabled. <laughs> 
I disabled that timer. Hold on. There you go. I've enabled the timer, so it should start up again. I believe it is a Twitch stream thing, so any channel you go into, um, if you are given the artist badge or artist attribution, it will show up in that person's channel. So I already did that um, with my artist. Uber! Oh my god, Uber! Hello, Uber! Um, I already did that with my friend Grunkle who did uh, my emote badges. Hello, Mr. B. Hi, Uber. I will say good morning to you because you won't get upset if I say good morning. Um, okay, so here's the two emotes my friend uh, did for me. So if you click on those emotes, you'll see the attribution he has as the artist. Because I had given him um, the emote attribution on those. Yes, it's my fault you're confused, but it's your fault you made me do this. Because you made me play Poop Collector. You made me put it as a category. You made me raid Athena Latina with that category. So now you are an artist. Live with it. Okay. Um, I have officially fixed Jigo's uh, beehives. So, oh, what did I do? And seeds? <gasps> Shoot, I uh, I stole Jigo's melon seeds. You think I, I stepped on his melons? Yeah, one of these. <laughs> you didn't make me like it. You made me play it. There's a difference. There's a very subtle difference. Exactly. You live the artist's lifestyle. To which um, I've made you grow accustomed to. I don't know. Um, but look, look. I fixed Jigo's beehive. Because um, he had to reinforce his ceiling. Because I dropped... Um, I dropped one of the campfires all the way to the bottom level, so he had like sparks and embers falling down on his room. Yes, he does have the fancy Japanese melons, and I crushed and stepped on his melons. That's why I have seeds on my inventory. I have to see where I stole his melon from. Oh. Here we go, I stole it from here. And from here, I guess, as well. Oh, I need to shovel it. Otherwise, it won't take. Or here, I think here. Can I do it here? Oh no, I don't think that one can. Can I do it on this one? No. Okay, I'll just put the seeds back in his in his ceiling. In his uh in his chest. Yeah, stepping and crushing <clears throat> melons. This is the foods. No, not the foods. That is not the foods. Where is the foods, Chico? There's sand and glass. I guess this is the food, but not the seeds. Uh, I think I have a battle to run, right? Hold on. I'm inside. I'll run it. 
I got distracted. Sorry, guys, if you're in Stream Raiders. There we go. There we go. And we're lagging slightly. Slightly. There you go. Odin. Don't be naughty. I know it's like your default mode, but don't be naughty. Alright, let's start the battle. Thank you. Sorry for making you guys wait. This is running even slower than it was running on the actual app. But we seem to be winning. got my second range kill. Thank you. Oh good, at least the music isn't running. Thank you. It was like long after I finished, it was still running. You are hungry? Then do something about it. Get your coffee. We don't have foods. That is so unlikely. Uh, congratulations, Scott. You get some uh, Saint Scrolls. Can you honestly wait that long for your mystery groceries to arrive? What's coming in the groceries? Okay, boss battle coming up. So, epic units and artillery is welcome. And it's uh, 115. This might be the last battle, and it's appropriate if it's the last battle. We could finish on this one. Solid cow extracts. Cheese. Kiza. Not overcooked as much as cured, I would say. The fruit. All right, what is on the lunch menu then? What are you going to order? Queso, queso. I'm a cheese person. I like cheesy. Oh, wow. Thank you, you guys were waiting for that. All right, if you are sitting up over there, I guess I am sitting up over here. Oh, supermarket versus, yeah, nice, nice deli. It makes a difference. 
All right, I like my skeleton warrior over here, where all y'all are. And we have a defensive zone, so if someone wants to sacrifice themselves as tribute to distract the units, uh, it would be appreciated. What, no defensive zone? Where to go? Alright, we'll leave that there. Chicken tenders, yummy. Oh yes, that's right. We had this debate uh, on uh, Ari's stream, right? That she gets her KFC all the time. However, um, on your neck of the woods, it's not quality KFC. Sometimes you're better off with like generic uh, McDonald's. Or Burger King, although I don't think Burger King does chicken tenders, if I recall, or if they do, it's not notable. Um, I have recently been getting them from Popeye's Chicken, the chicken tenders. They're not bad. They're okay. Not nuggets, tenders. Let's go back. Yeah, Burger King, I don't mind their chicken sandwiches. I get them every so often. Oh, that's sad that you don't have Popeyes. I usually go for the um, uh, other thing you can't eat, popcorn shrimp or butterfly shrimp options. But they have a good chicken tender, chicken tender box. Jigo, where is your seed? Wait, don't answer that, Odin. Here we go, melon seeds. I found his seed. Because it's um, shellfish, bottom feeder shrimp, right? It's not kosher. I know you don't keep uh, traditionally kosher. I'm just saying, like, you probably shouldn't so you don't have the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the orthodox people looking down at you for, you know, not keeping kosher. I have put Jigo seed away. I have wondered at his uh, ceiling reinforcements. Again, sorry Jigo for messing up your ceiling. Yeah, it's, it's not your problem. You're right. Screw him. And let's go up. Is it nighttime again? Oh, good. I'm gonna get killed again. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to put away uh, his other oak slats. Yeah, I forgot something. I knew I came down here for a reason. Nope, that's not it. There we go. You told on me? Jeez, Odin. Okay. Uh, 
Let me look for monsters first. We're good, right? In your special way. What was your special way, I wonder? Uh, okay. Actually, don't answer that. Oh, look, his melon grew. <laughs> Thank you, Jigo. And look, I fixed, I fixed the beehive. I raised the beehive, so they're actually like one block higher. So I know you didn't need to fix. <sighs> Damn it, Odin! I know you didn't need to fix your ceiling, but I did raise the beehives, so now they're up one level, and the campfires are also up another level, so that. There won't be any accidental embers falling into your living room. So, there we go. Damn it, Odin. Just once. Just once. It's, it's too much to ask for, right? Yeah. All right. No nightmares after me? No, because I took a nap. So we're good. And hello, Jigo. I hope you had good rest, good sleep today. Wait, now I want to see what you said. <laughs> I can't believe you put that in Discord. I mean, I should. I should expect you to put that in Discord, right? Like, wh why wouldn't you? This is this is what I know. This is what I know that you do. Ugh. You, uh, you don't fail to surprise me. Okay, back to the project at hand today. I need to get my turtle. I'm going to grow a turtle, see if my baby turtle hatched. <laughs> um, you know, he has a really huge cobblestone tower. I mean, just look at look at that. It's it's pure medieval I don't know what you call it. Hold on. Let me get a better angle to look at. I I don't know what the aesthetic is, but yes. I think you can reclaim it if you want. Yeah, I know you've I know you've said worse things. Okay. Let's go see how my uh, turtle baby is doing. Why did I go through the berry bushes? I don't know. <sighs> My turtle has not hatched yet. I need eight game days of play for it to hatch. So it may not hatch today. I hope it does, but if it doesn't, that's fine. Oh, speaking of Carvin, I guess I can go try to practice my flying again. But I want to see if there's a turtle running around. I just want to get more scoots. I 
would like to make one of those um, scoot helmets, underwater breathing helmets. I know we don't need it here where we have the heart of the ocean, but if we ever go somewhere where we don't have that, which we will, shoot fishies. Um, like here, part of the ocean doesn't work here. You know, I could have that on. Gloop, 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 don't drown. That would be stupid. <gasps> Something hit me. It hit me. Who's hitting me? Oh, you? Really, dude? How dare you? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I'm drowning. Is it dead? Or is it still alive? Did I kill it? I think I killed it. Oh no! But I'm drowning. Oh, you can't come in because it's like daytime and you're gonna get on fire. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna kill you. No, I'm gonna drown. Did I kill it? I think I killed it. But there may be more. Okay, I should. Head back to the safety of the heart of the ocean. I was just looking to see if my turtle, my baby turtles, would come this way. And the heart of the ocean is back in effect. Look, Ma, not drowning. Say hi to our baby really quick. Hi. sort of need to have that stupid Aquaman try and kill me Burr. God such a loud eater all right let's go climb Corvin's tower and get to his sauna 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 so now. TMI, Odin. TMI.
it remind me how to get to the sauna. Totally forgot. I have to climb something. It used to be like super straightforward. Oh, here I go. There's just too many mazes. Oh look, there's a cow on top of a cow. Okay, and this is the part where I have to crouch because I always fall off the tower because I can't climb straight. As I've established, there's nothing straight about me. Okay. I know it's just in the game. But I'm always paranoid about jumping and like not opening my wings properly. I know it's just over water, so it shouldn't matter. All right, here we go. Running, running start, right? Um, this is the part where Alexis forgot to open her wings, so I have to start again. That was silly of me, wasn't it? I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. But not today, Satan. Not today. Try this again. Just remember to not click jump twice, because then I will close my wings and I will not fly. All right. Crouch and go up. See, look at that, you go third. I think you could probably um, take take like a good at least 20% of that big bastion tower from him and he would not notice it was missing. Let's go this way. There's more, um, there's more ocean here. I'm flying, I'm flying. And I flew really, really far away. I'm getting better. I have to remember how to fly again. Uh oh, Aquaman. Aquaman hit me. Rude. He's a rude freaking Aquaman. How dare you? No, Jason Momoa, you will not get the better of me. I think I was just nose diving pretty much. And that's why it didn't um, get very far. I mean, I got far. I just didn't get to like fancy glide anywhere. I don't see any nightmares. 
So I think I'm still good, but I will go back and take a nap so we can be in daytime. Okay, let's try this again. Nose up walk off and hit the jump once, right? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Did something hit me? Uh, crap. Spider. Spider. Bad spider. I don't have any lost hearts. So I don't know if a nightmare hit me or not. What's that? Is that a skeleton? I think that's a skeleton. I get it? Oh, I think I got it. What's another monster? Is there a creepy crawly over there? Oh, or is a zombie? I said I was gonna go sleep, didn't I? fast-moving zombie. What the hell? Like from 28 days or something? Oh, I'm leaving my, um, my experience over there. They're too far away. <gasps> Is it a big zombie and a baby zombie? Aww. I should feel bad about killing it, shouldn't I? But it's a zombie, so no. Okay, let me go sleep. And um, then I will come back and collect that experience. Five more minutes for the battle. Just checking on it right now. And then we'll we'll finish out uh, another 20 minutes. And then hopefully someone comes on that we get to raid. Um, I see someone I haven't, I don't think I've raided him before, so I may raid him tonight. Coming back from my experience. Thank you very much. chasing experience spicy Moroccan style hot dog um 
yay on the multitasking, but oh. Okay, I shot some things over here. Okay, arrows I'll take. I don't want the zombie meat. Get your meat away from my face. Is that, it? Is that all I killed? I think so. Bones. Bones, bones, bones. And the meat goes bye bye because I don't want you. And Spirit yelled at me for feeding his, uh, his dog some zombie meat because he didn't want me to get his doggy sick. Okay, back to the task at hand. I'm trying to learn to fly. And I'm not doing it very well. scary. I could have drowned. I am, I am not a fan of that water feature. No, I am not. Although I need to figure out where that boat is from the spawn point next time somebody shows up. Okay, this time I need to be able to jump and open my wings. How do I do that? By the way, <clears throat> from here, where the big old uh, tree is. Did I grow that? I can't remember if I grew that. Uh, so it looks like it's, is it desert biome? Or is it like snow-capped biome? I think um, Spirit's house is behind me. Oh, did I read what he wrote on his sauna? 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 Oh, I need to be careful. I'm not good at walking on one block. I feel like I'm gonna... I'm gonna fall. I can't read Swami. Swami? Swami. Finish. Sauna Batit. Sauna Ba. Ya Lemikit Kileti Vitalia Sa. Um. No, this is this is Corvin's sauna. That's this is the one he made. The first thing he made when he got here was his sauna and then you could you know he put this jumping off point uh so you can like heat up in there and then just go and jump in the water okay i'm gonna leave my avatar ready to take the plunge and we're gonna go play the battle and then we'll come back to this yes he is a crazy uh thin Swede hybrid, I think. There's the sound of Z battle. Let's run this one. 
Uh, and this is the uh, last battle, guys. Thank you for playing 71 people. Uh, let's see. Where am I? What do we have? There's a lot of people. It's not specifically focused. So I think I will give us haste. And just cross our fingers and hope for the best. All right, let's see if it runs. Good luck, everybody. Maybe I should have been better off leaving, um, leaving the app running. Gosh, that's so slow. It's like slow clap drumming. There you go. <laughs> Well, the numbers on our side were at 68 allies to 23, so we should be doing something, right? It's just so scattered, it's hard to see. Senile Owl, thank you for assisting so much. Most kills so far to Dominix. That seems slow. I, I think the kill number is behind. Or simply because everything is just so extended. Or it's just running really slow, it hasn't caught up. Actually, I will... I will take it back. I think I will run one more battle, but I'll finish it offline though. Because it takes me forever to wind down at this point. I think it's gonna go to no seven enemies. We're almost done. Five enemies. They're almost defeated. Or I may just go crash. Honestly, I tired so maybe I will save the battles for offline tomorrow or later tonight. One more person. Okay, all the bad guys are extinguished. So congratulations us. We won on a boss battle at the end of this one. Awesome. Thank you everybody. Hype and chat indeed. Actually, let me try, let me put one of my stickers on. Uh, let's do some ukulele hype. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's not good. 
let's see. Where's my monkey height? No, 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 no. Go back. There we go. There we go. Let's do some ukulele hype to celebrate. And congratulations, uh, you Zen X and Joseph, you guys get Musketeer Scrolls. So that'll be the last stream winners battle today. Well, I don't think it worked. I don't think my, I don't think I was able to paste my own sticker, which is unfortunate. Rude. Why don't you want to let me? Do my own sticker. If you got time, Odin, do you want to try the stickers? They're free right now. I put an audio to them, but I don't think it's coming through. Or maybe it's just uh, not enabled. I tested it this afternoon, but I don't think it's working. I need to look into why it's not enabled. Probably one of those, I need to put the output correctly. All right, I'm getting a silver badge and some minis. Oh, there we go. Thank you for posting that. Yeah, I don't think the sound's working. Which I guess it's fine. Um, earlier when I was uh, running around in the dark and all scared, uh, I got paranoid. So I don't have like those scream alerts enabled. Oh, there's a hula girls dancing. Get some vampire scrolls, yay. Um, if I'm in the middle of running something, I think I might like freak out and scream anyway. So they will be jump scares, at least jump scares for me. I shouldn't tell you that because now you're gonna do them all the time. Assuming I get the audio fixed. I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna check the properties. No, I think it's on the advanced properties for the alerts. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So I have like the proper Twitch alerts are the only ones that are enabled through stream elements, but everything else uh, monitor off. So it should be a monitor and output. I don't think emote wall has, um, has sounds, but in case it does, maybe I should enable it. All right, so I think I've fixed the sticker. So if you want to try again, we can do it.
it's still pretty soft. So I don't think it's like doing it necessarily. Oh, let me turn off the music just to make sure it's not that. Or maybe I just need to raise the volume. I did have it slightly lowered, but I think for the desktop audio it might be low. I don't know, let me know if you're hearing something because I'm not hearing it. I do have desktop audio closed for me so that I'm not hearing something twice. So maybe that's why I am not hearing it. But if you're not hearing it, I don't know. Yeah, because I, I was muted. <laughs> I muted myself. It's, if it's not one, uh, one stream where I talk while I'm muted, I don't know. All right, I go try and figure out why they're not working, but. Uh, let's go and finish jumping off. Darn it, and the person I was gonna write is no longer uh, streaming. And my connection timed out, too. This might be a no raid night. Unless I can take you to see some furry otters, if you want to do that. Because there's no Gwen, no when yet. T 
to be on time. Yeah, she's on time the same way I am on time. When I say I'm going to start at 10 p.m. my time, like it's more like I'll get to the computer and start the um, the starting soon screen at 10, which means I don't really get on till 10 10. Really? She's always on time? What is it? Uh, 2 9. Is it like 11 o'clock for her right now, I believe? 11 a.m. Or noon? I don't know what uh, Dutch time is, if it's like 9 or 10 hours. Okay. Can I please? Gee, I don't know, Jigo. What what's starting late like? Noon for you. Um Okay, so it's like it's yeah, I was right, it's about eleven. Eleven for them. Okay. Yeah, it's not like I'm online, you know, for three hours waiting for you to stream, Jigo. It's not like that at all. And then I just pass out from exhaustion. All right, and I'm stalling. Oh look, I can see your beehive from here. Isn't it pretty? <sighs> can you please fly this time? Like fly, fly. It's raining. I can't fly when it's raining. Actually, I can fall when it's raining and I won't like die. Not completely. Right. <gasps> I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying. Oh look, I'm flying. And I flew and I fell and I landed in the water. Okay. That was the not too terrible flight. Wait, why is there an empty block over here? Was there a um someone was harvesting stone from here, I think? And it's making current. This does not look good. This looks weird. I don't like this. I don't know why there's a weird current there. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yes, I'm going to go check on my, check on my turtle baby. Chico, are these your free range moo cows? Becca's carpet sheep. Why is there a donkey 
and the horse pen. Don't we have a donkey pen? Thought we did. Yeah, there's a donkey pen right here. And you're a stupid piggy with your head stuck in the thing. Can I ride the donkey? Is it a jumping donkey? Wait, is... Why does the, the donkey has... Like, packs on it? Hello, Mr. Donkey. Like, saddlebags and stuff? Is that why it's here? Because all the horses have like either saddles or armor and the donkey. Oh, that's why does he only have like one heart? Do I need to feed the donkey? What does the donkey eat? I don't know why I made the, the sound. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Donkey. Maybe I can't access his, um, hello, horsey, why are you, you're, you're kind of all up in my business. <sighs> personal space, dude, personal space. Um, I don't think I can access, no, this guy just has a saddle. I don't think I can access his saddlebags. All right, if I click him, it's just gonna have me like mount him again, which I don't need to mount. Let's check on our egg before we go. Um, the egg is still okay. Fine. I'm gonna go around the long way. Egg does not show any signs of cracking. I don't want to get close to it because I don't want to accidentally crush the egg. A watch turtle never hatches. Let's see if there's any more of our normal turtles. on the Aquaman. And this is the end of the part of the sea reach. see if the lava is full. Yes, the lava is full. Let's replace that. I don't 
it's still a full bucket. And still a full bucket. Okay. What else needs to be replaced? Still no when. Wait, Earth, what's dripping over here? Where are the... Wait, I think... Wait, Salor moved them to another... Furnaces, he moved them over here. That's full. That's full. Okay. Let's just get a regular empty bucket. How There we go. Bucket of lava harvested. Baby turtle still not hatched. When is it going to be my turn? I want to be a turtle mommy again. Oh, she's live. My thing hasn't refreshed. Okay. your tongue out at me, sir. It is Twitch's failing, not mine, for not seeing that she was live. Oh, thank you for that sub, Jigo. <laughs> thank you so much, sir. I know you have the, um, the, uh, oh, you still have the, uh, the three month badge and the explosion of emotes on the emote wall. I need to figure out the proper proper reaction for that. And let's leave everybody with the um, wonderful look of the wall, the purple wall. See, Jigo, I'm not alone. Odin also did not know. But is she like live live or is she still like getting settled? Let's find out. She's still on her starting stream soon. Like she's been on for three Whole minutes. Okay, I can wait. Briefly, I can wait. But you're right, she's on.
Right, does tab do anything? I keep wanting to press tab. Because we do the, um, what is it? The uh, inventory on tab on a different game. No, it's E. Let me go get some honey. Nighttime beekeeper reporting for duty. Did I harvest correctly? Nope. I'm hoping with your beehives now <clears throat> to go, now that I moved them, it'll be easier to get it. But I think it's just like for this one. Always falls in the fire. Doesn't matter what I do. I don't have any um, raw fish for the kitty. Sorry. Oh wait, I think I put my, I think I put my stuff away the last time we went to the nether, right? Or to end world? When we were trying to get Jigo's alitas. Yeah, this looks like my stuff. Oh, raw salmon. Here we go. I can feed the kitty now. Feed the kitty. Where's the cake? I, I removed the cake from in front of Chico's house, but I have no idea where else it went. Right, let me take that. And, um my uh, rod. Oh, then I said rod. I'm gonna go fish for a little bit. I have a cat in the house, right? I did. Oh, here's a cat. Are you my cat? Do I feed you? Yay, you love me. <laughs> oh good, you're still awake and paying attention. Um, and I believe
believe there's a cat outside. But uh, the door needs to slam because I don't want to like breed a bunch of cats. I'm not going to do the Becca thing and breed cats like crazy. Oh, here's a cat. I had no reaction from this cat, I guess. Um, uh, it's fine. Not like she wanted, not like she wanted uh, anything. Uh, let's go fish. Let's go fish right above the heart of the ocean. I don't know why, but it might be luckier. And I think, why, why is there a Percy's and a chicken swimming? I think Saloro is trying to build another temple or maybe he got two hearts of the ocean. Built. I think he did, yeah. And Becca's house, yay. Alright, let's let's um let's fish in front of Becca's house. Why is it always a blowfish? Okay, when is live? But let me go and um, put my stuff away. I'm gonna zoom past the horsies. Bye bye horsies. Bye bye chicken. Yes, yes, it is. It definitely is, Odin. And still, not the most offensive thing you said. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Did my turtle hatch? My turtle hatched. I wasn't here for it, and my turtle hatched. Oh my goodness. Oh, guten Morgen, Gifmo. Uh, es geht, danke. Um, I am a new turtle mommy and I am bad because I wasn't here to birth my my poor baby turtle. I left the egg here by itself. Let's see if I can find her, but I need to cut some grass for her. Uh, here I go. She should be swimming around here, somewhere. She just hatched. Oh, and I think, no, that's, that's the grass that's floating, right? It's not? I thought you said it was the grass turtles, like, kelp, right? And good morning, Salor. I hatched another turtle because I want another scoot. It's the one that's short. Okay. The basic grass. So let me go here. Bip, 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 bip. Okay, let me go cut the basic grass that's short. The seaweed, seaweed. Okay. 
this one, right? Over here. Okay, this one. Cut it. And I'm gonna grow another huge, humongous sea turtle. It still says kelp, no? Oh. I just put my bone meal away. Let me see if I can at least find a turtle baby. I know, I know that's kelp. But... Let me just find it. I don't know where the baby went. <laughs> oh, it is in my inventory? I saw something floating, but it was just this thing. go park somewhere. It hasn't been eight, eight days. All right, let me see what's in my inventory. Oh, there it is. Thank you. All right, you can suck it and go away. And the blowfish can also suck it, because I don't want blowfish. Buffer fish. Go away. Okay, now I can put the seagrass, thank you. How are you doing? How are you feeling this morning, guys? All right, let me go hunt around for the turtle. See, I can find the baby. Where's my baby? I'm hoping that if I'm like running around with the seaweed, it will come to me. It will say, I'm here, mama. Give me some. Give me some. Come on, baby. Where are you? You're like super, super tiny. Where are you? <laughs> are you hiding? In the forest of kelp. Where are you? Well, there should not have been, honestly, because um, Genius Salor over here designed this little fencing around our beach to protect it. And um, I've been around for, uh, I think I've lost track, maybe at least four days in the game tonight. So that should have meant, are you gonna blow up? Are you gonna blow up my boat? Oh, but the pig stays there. Um, and that means it should have hatched, right? Weak spots. Okay. Yeah, so the fencing should have kept the monsters away. 
to protect the baby to let the egg hatch on its own so I'm gonna go where the seagrass is hopefully it will be around here somewhere oh that's the range of the heart of the ocean No, they, they don't blow up, um, just the, what do you call it, the blower up -y things. What was up here? Yes, thank you. Those things. Those are the ones that blow up. Thank you, Gifna. You're bringing me back some cheese, Odin. I want my cheese. Oh, I didn't know that was a global emote. I'm not paying attention. Turtle baby, where are you? I see Aquaman coming for me. Maybe it doesn't see me. Is that a fishy or a turtle? No, I think it's just a speck of water. Okay, after this turtle, if I'm crossing my fingers, it didn't die. It's just really, really tiny and hiding around somewhere. Um, we only have two eggs left. My last two eggs, Salor. Um, hello, my name is Gif. The Aquaman are spawning now. I hate them so much. Ah, they're coming. What? The zombies can swim? Oh crap. Save me. Save me from the zombies. Oh yeah, it's nighttime. That's why they're in here. My name Jakes. Geeks. No, I think your name should be Jax now. Alright, I will go sleep it off. And maybe the monsters can blow up. Or just die in the sun and die a fiery death under the big ball of fire that Odin hates so much. That was scary. It's, oh my goodness. Okay, so the audio is working. Thank you for slapping that sticker. Um, I I was testing the audio with Odin and the, the sticker audio wasn't working, but it's not working, I think, on my custom stickers, but it's apparently it's working. Excuse me, it's working on the global stickers. That unicorn dab. 
this, am I doing it in the right over here? I I don't know how to dab. Thank you for that. I'm not I'm not cool and hip and with it, so I don't know how to dab. Alright, let's go and try and see if I can find that turtle again. <laughs> Waiting for things to die a fiery death. That is so USA. I don't know how to take that. can't say that I've ever dabbed out of confidence or just confidence in general enough to, you know, be smug and do something like that. Turtle baby. A raccoon dab. Oh my goodness. I need, I need to watch my TikToks and practice because I don't know how to dab. I don't know how to do the things. Um, I would open my flip phone in front of my nephew and uh, that was enough to embarrass him. Just the fact that why, it's like why Thea, why do you have that still? I miss my flip phone. I keep seeing um, the ads for the new uh, smartphones that look like flip phones again. I think it was like a BTS commercial. So I'm I may if when I if and when I finally change out of the one I did get, you know, like basic Android, um, I I may go back to the smartphone flip phone because it worked. Yeah, singing, singing will do that too. Oh, there's a cave here. Were we carving these out at some point? I wonder, I wonder, wonder who wrote the book of love. Um, I wonder if the turtle might hide here. Hello baby turtle, are you here? Hmm, maybe not. I, I agree. Not all nighties. Not all nighties. Eighties are great. Nighties are okay. Some of them, especially. Where did we find the baby last time? Is it like hiding, hiding in between things? And all the Aquaman are coming for me, okay. Time to get out of the water.
We tend to sing the ones, the, the earworm songs, the, the best ones that just get in there. Uh, okay, another failed turtle attempt. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping at some point we will just get all the turtles that we've bred on this beach swimming around here and then eventually coming back and then we can feed them and then we'll have more turtle egg babies but I just want to get those scoots so I can make a cool helmet I mean if we find another scoot like you found it Salor might be a good sign well I mean, what what would that entail? Should we just like fence them and roof them in completely so that nothing can get them? Like, should oh, can we put like glass all around the enclosure so that absolutely nothing gets in or out without us knowing? Okay, and we'll just break like one one particular block to let them out and then they can leave. I hate to do that, but ugh, we may at some point. Aquarium thingy, yes. Although I think Turtle Sanctuary, what you said earlier, might be the more um, sophisticated way of calling it. Okay, before I go and raid Miss Wen, because she is up and running, um, I want to switch over to walk and see the turtles. Oh yeah, like at the aquarium where you go through a tunnel and like right above you is like all the sharks swimming. Is that what you want to do? But instead of sharks, it'll be like sea turtles. Uh, let me test. I want to test Valheim, uh, but I think I can do that next week because I still have another week before I play. Dining zone. Yeah, so let's let's plant some seagrass for them. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. I don't wanna waste these here. And go and go boop. 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 And boop. So I won't have to run and hunt for these next time. Okay. Let me go back in the house so the sun does not go down on me. Do you go finish the lyric? Thank you, Elton John. Okay, let me leave you guys with a beautiful scenery of um, the waterfall and the purple amethyst. That looks just so gorge. Okay. Uh, so let's get ready to raid Miss Gwen. Uh, if you are not subbed, this is the call. If you are subbed, this would be the one to use. There we go. So, 
thank you for um, coming tonight. Thank you, Grunkle T, my beautiful and wonderful artist friend, uh, for re-subbing and for your very generous uh, bit donation. Thank you, Jigo, also for the resub tonight. Oh, Obsidian. Uh, Obsidian. I'm not Angie. Oh, wait. Am I Angie because I couldn't find my turtle? Oh, thank you for that sub, Gifmo. You can also use the emotes as well. Yeah, I, I guess you could change that out for Obsidian. That would also work as well. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much for that subscription and you're making my... <sighs> Being angry is not cool. Being angry is a uh, wasted emotions. It raises your blood pressure, which is not good. I want you healthy. Um, okay, let me start the raid for Miss Gwen. There we go. Okay. Thank you everybody for coming tonight. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you all for being wonderful and subscribing and um, donating bits and just keeping me company tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Your blood pressure is low. No, no. Your blood pressure is fine. Okay. Bye.